family is found throughout the world in temperature and tropical regions. It has its greatest development in the Oriental and Australasian regions where almost 289 species occur. Despite their great variety in size, color and habits, all members of the pigeon family are so distinctly pigeons that they are easily recognized as such. All are stout-bodied birds with rather short necks and uniformly small heads. All have short, slender, rounded bills, usually thickening toward the tip and thinner in the middle. Most pigeons are sleek, strong flying birds with a thick, heavy coat of strong shocked feathers that bit feathers that are loosely attached to their thin skins that they drop out very easily, perhaps as a protective mechanism against certain predators. Their voices are a soft, plaintive cooing or booming, which can be monotonously repetitive. Most pigeon families is likewise remarkably uniform in its nesting habits. They nest in many situations, mostly trees, many on the ground, some on cliff ledges or buildings, a few in holes in trees. Both sexes incubate, the female usually by night, the male by day, with periods lasting from 12 days in the smaller species to almost four weeks in the giant crowned pigeons. Young hatch practically naked and with their eyes closed and are brooded and fed by both parents until they are able to fly. Both parents feed the young on what is known as pigeon's milk. During the incubation period, the lining of the pigeon's crop thickens and when the young are ready to be beefed, the lining slows off with, into a cheesy curd which adults regurgitate into the young. Most familiar and largest of the several groups, some natural, some frankly artificial, into which the members of this unwieldy family are divided are the true pigeons, sometimes called wood pigeons of the subfamily Columbinae, found in temperature and tropical areas throughout the world. Tropical of this group is the common rock dove or the rock pigeon of temperature in Europe and Western Asia which is the wild progenitor of the common feral street pigeons and of all the many varieties of domestic pigeons. These pigeons were probably among the first wild birds man domesticated, for they have played a prominent role in the folklore and religions of almost early people. They are mentioned in several ancient scrolls and appear in early legends. The story of Noah show how long ago man recognized pigeons' phenomenal ability to find their way home over strange terrains. Pigeons have been used to carrying messages for several thousand years. The ancient Romans used to relay back to Rome the news of Caesar's conquests of Gaul. Word of Napoleon's downfall at the Waterloo reached England by pigeon four days before the fastest couriers could carry the news by horse and ship. As recently as World War I, carrier pigeons earn their keep by carrying messages where all other means fail. Cher Ami, the famous pigeon that brought help to witlessly lost battalion in the Argonne Forest, is only one of the birds that made military history. Today, electronics has largely displaced the pigeon's usefulness as a message carrier. But carrier pigeons are still raised, trained, and received by thousands of fancier pigeons near their roosts are guided by landmarks, and the pilot their course rather than navigate. Lost one nest and sometimes hundreds, birds perched in such number that their weight broke the branches. In 1878, covered a bout of 850 square miles and contained conservatively 136 million birds. This nesting was the passenger's pigeons, swan song beginning of the 20th century. Its disappearance, however, gave dramatic force and impetus to the conservation movement and encouraged intelligent management for our rapidly vanishing wildlife resource. Morning dove are not long lived in the wild. Though individuals have lived in captivity for up to 16 years, the oldest wild bird to date was 10 years old. Data from the thousands of birds ringed show the mortality in the first years to be more than 80%, which drops as the birds mature to 66%. More than four or five years, one mysterious pigeon that has disappeared for reasons unknown was Little Crested Pigeon of the Solomon Islands, known only from the island of Chioso, where an Australian collected the six known specimens in 1904. It has not been seen since.